Here's another M car. One of the last that we're doing, happily. I'm not a huge uh, fan of these cars, but uh, here we go. Oh, and it's a manual. So I kind of cooked the start, but as nobody is wanting to accelerate, it is dangerously braking and swerving in front of me. We should be able to catch up with them. I think it's very interesting that they put all the different types of BMWs together. Especially since they have nowhere near the same capabilities. <laughs> uh, you know, this is only a what, three lap race, so it's no big deal, but uh, on a longer race we would definitely see a huge gap develop between the different types of cars. Okay, so the AI being, the AI doesn't know how to keep its line, its goals all over the place, which is okay. It's like a beginner. Okay, so this is this layout. I know this layout. I'm not having the time to look ahead of myself because, whoa. Okay, so definitely don't switch gears to first gear. I kind of missed that. Okay, hey, five out of eight, that's okay. I think we can easily uh, make it on the next car ahead. And then from there, the Z4 should be slower. I don't know about the two others. I think we can't really gain them. Two others. I think those are locked on. So we should be at the end of it. Uh, third. Third is okay. It's uh, it's enough to get us our medals to get us out of this level and to the next level where we're we're going to drive even cooler cars. So can I outbreak this guy? Maybe not right now. I'm just gonna bite our time. We have. Um, a couple of laps left. Let's just not give the space. Uh oh. Is that car a newer car to ours or is it the same model? I want to say it's the same model, but I have no clue really. Okay, so it looks like we're a lot quicker on the straights. And um, we also have good brakes. Maintaining the history of uh, the car. As we remember, the older car had good braking response as well, and not the not the newer one, but this one does or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, definitely got him out of the way. Now we're four out of eight. Uh, would definitely help if we got our starts right because the start makes a big difference. I think we can break halfway between these two panels. Uh, maybe not. I'm making the car struggle. Bring it to its limit, let's just say. Tires to their limit, too. Oh, that felt good. That felt like a, a good acceleration. When you have a good acceleration out of a corner, it just feels, uh, like, you know, you can feel that you are not, you're not punching the gas, but you're, you're pressing the gas just ahead enough that it causes a bit of rotation, you know, a little pull on the, on the turn, and oh, that feels so good, but it's, it's hard to do. So you don't want to go too far, otherwise you're definitely going to oversteer, and oversteer is never good news. So, keep everything under control. Focus on keeping things under control. And then it turns out. We tried to catch up with that Z4. Should be able to, should not be too difficult. I'm just maybe not doing the ideal lines. But I definitely think we have the speed to easily catch up with them. I think that should not be an issue. I think we should be able to keep this guy at bay that's right behind us, just because, I don't know, I have a good feeling about things. So I'm not going too fast, nothing crazy. I My goal is to be at third place, and I still have 11 and a half. I don't want to accelerate too fast, and... Um, Definitely I'm very happy that that blue car is holding things up because I'm not going around this track in a smooth and beautiful manner right now, so... We'll see what happens. I, uh, I definitely need the next medal, so whether that's in time attack or in a race, I don't know, but... Uh, okay, so this is this layout. That's why we don't need to break as much. Okay, that's what's really confusing me, is that... 
it's not the same corner layout. It kind of changes depending on <laughs> which track it wants to show you that day. <laughs> so in this corner, it's the less acute corner and you can break later. Got it. Doesn't mean the card changed. Oops. This is bad news for me. Uh, I think I can beat him. Going super deep into that corner was not the best idea in the world. But at least I stayed ahead. So that, that's okay. Okay, so, staying ahead. I think we're catching up slightly to the people in front, but we really need to stay on our toes here. Should have braked harder, that was a mistake, but the guy in front of me made the same mistake, which is interesting. I wonder if that's due to... Well, that's definitely due to the AI trying to follow something slower. Okay. The AI has that little problem where it doesn't know what to do when it's following someone slightly slower, which is you know, a problem we all have one day. <laughs> uh, not so much, but anyway. I guess that the both the cars in front of me are quick at different sequences of the track, because the Z4 would be maneuverable, whereas the car in front of it, whatever it is, is a quicker car in terms of speed. So here is an um, opportunity to decide what to do when the car ahead of us is slower. Which is actually surprising because the Z4, from what I remember, brakes better. Okay, so now we're safe. Now we're in the podium places. Um, seeing how slow this blue car is, is an entire possibility that we'll be able to come past him if I don't skid my way to the front of him before creating a whole disaster. So let's see where he breaks and just follow his lead. Follow the leader. I would like to make the apex on that one. That would be a lot more pretty than what I did. No. Breaking enough. Come on! Use your brakes! Okay, well, if we're not losing a ton of time, we're on the last lap, so we just need to make a count. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. Stay on the accelerator. Again, breaking a little early, but, uh, turn out too bad. I don't think we're going to make it around the last corner and beat him, so we're just going to kind of admit defeat here and just try to stay as planted as we can until the line. That's a good result. Three out of eight. I'll take it. It's a win. Let's keep chugging.